<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for stopping by. I'm Jason Green, host of Blah Blah Podcast, and today let's talk about the disaster artist. So, this is a weird one, and uh, I'll tell you why. So, the disaster artist stars James Franco as Tommy Wiseau. He is the weird alien who came to Earth and made a movie, one of the most uh, bad but good movies in the world, called The Room. You might have heard of it. Some say it's the worst movie of all time, and uh, they could be right, depends on who you ask. But it is, it, without a doubt, the quintessential so bad it's good movie. Like, if you're at a college night and you're with some drunk friends, and you're like, yo guys, let's put on a movie. Yo, let's laugh at something. Yo! Nine times out of ten, they'll put on The Room, because it's such an anomaly. But the disaster artist tells the story of how Wiseau made The Room. And, uh, yeah, initially, I left the theater really high on it. I, um, it's, it's a good movie. I'm not gonna lie. It's a really good movie. I enjoyed it, and the best part is definitely Franco as Wiseau. He sinks into that role, and it's sometimes, like, uncanny how good he is at playing this weird person, or maybe he's not a person, Tommy Wiseau. You know, if you were to tell me that Tommy Wiseau was, like, a reptile alien, I wouldn't be that uh that surprised i kind of wish they were still making men in black movies like maybe right now they'd be on mib5 and tommy wiseau could cameo as an alien kind of like how in mib2 when michael jackson was in it and he was agent m well he wasn't really an alien right i don't quite remember but anyway wiseau was the perfect person that would if, if he turned out to be an alien i wouldn't be surprised anyway franco's brother dave dave franco plays Greg Sestro, who is, uh, real life, the, uh, guy who played Mark in the, in the room. You know, he's been getting a lot of crap for his performance, but I don't really see where it was so bad. Yeah, I mean, you, you could say, like, he has, like, no range, or, like, he's one note the whole time, which is kind of, like, skittish and, like, excited, or he's down. So he has two notes, really excited or really depressed kind of annoyed maybe three notes anyway yeah a lot of critics are saying Dave Franco's uh, as Greg has no range but you know honestly I, I think he did really well given the circumstances that his character found himself in I think Dave acted the way a lot of us would act in this in that type in those types of situations the message disaster artist sends is the typical you know follow your dreams don't give up type of type of spiel you know you've heard from a ton of disney movies and that thereof but it's kind of unrealistic though because for every person that pours their heart and soul into making a movie that they want to show the world and succeeds like tommy did there's a million people who fall by the wayside and are never heard of in a way tommy really won the lottery but let's be real the room is on incompetent on every level but it hits those comedic beats so well and since Tommy is front and center in that whole film, it makes the movie unforgettable. It will be remembered forever. It's, it's a time capsule of weird. It just blows my mind how this man made one of the worst movies of all time, yet it's beloved, and he is a world star. Well, he is a North American star, I guess. I doubt people in, like... Well, he's a semi-world star. We'll say that. Kind of reminds me of how, like, uh, that Simpsons episode with Frank Grimes. It, it's hard, you know. I liked The Room. Like, I liked it in that so bad it's good type of way. I had a lot of fun watching it because, you know, uh, my friends and I were, like, laughing our asses off at the movie. But my opinion on the Disaster Artist film itself kind of changed because right after I saw it, I didn't really know what to think of it yet. Like, yeah, it's a, it's a good movie. I, I'll see it again. But I was just like, do I love it or do I just like it? So I watched the uh, uh, Red Letter Media Half in the Bag review that uh, Jay and Mike did, and I kind of found myself agreeing with a lot of what they were saying. Like, it's still good, but tonally it's all over the place. Like, uh, they really don't explain why Greg Sestro just drops his entire life and everything he has just to move in with Tommy, which is like a man he met like two weeks prior. It's like they gloss over any of the, um, the, like, the reality and the real facts of what would actually happen just so they can get to um, Franco making the room. And according to the actual book, The Disaster Artist, that the real Greg Sestro wrote, which is in my Amazon uh, cart, by the way, I would have liked to kind of see more of a take on that. Like, just like with what Jay and Mike said, like with the social network uh, movie that um, David Fincher made, like, they didn't make Mark Zuckerberg out to be this, like, quirky, fun 
harmless guy. Like he was, he was ruthless. He was kind of an asshole. And I got the feeling that's how Mark Zuckerberg really is in real life and how he really acted to get Facebook pretty much stealing the Winklevoss's idea. And I have a feeling in real life, like Greg Sestro didn't always defend Tommy like he does in The Disaster Artist. Like he didn't always just say like, oh, that's just Tommy. You know, don't worry. He's a great guy. He'll do anything for me. In real life, Greg Sestro was probably just like, man, this dude's fucking insane. But The Disaster Artist was a good movie, and it's a great take on Tommy Wiseau, like, uh, Franco plays Wiseau perfectly, and it's fun to see how this movie did come to be, because I'm, you know, I'm sure they have a lot of the facts straight. They probably gloss over some of the nitty-gritty that the book touches on, but it's, it's a surface-level good take on how the room actually was made, and it gets you interested on who Tommy Wiseau was as a person, who Greg Sestro is as a person, and it's really just Franco's love letter to this strange Hollywood anomaly that will definitely be remembered for forever. Kind of like how Plan 9 from Outer Space was made almost 60 years ago, and it's still lauded as one of the best So Bad It's Good movies, thanks to Ed Wood. By the way, Ed Wood, the Tim Burton film, is a great movie. I, I think you should all check out if you haven't seen it. So yes, I did like The Disaster Artist. It's a really good movie. Not the best, but I like the message that it has. You know, I, I always believe in the power of positivity, even if you're feeling down on yourself, which does happen to me a lot. Um, you just have to take a step back and just, you know, push yourself, push your soul. And I, I, I really like those messages movies, those movies give. But after hearing from the uh, Red Letter Media Review of how Tommy Wiseau really is and how Greg Sestro might have really felt, I would have liked to get more of that type of conflict because in, in The Disaster Artist, Greg Sestro is like just like a, a loyal like dog like you know he's oh he's happy he's like excited and he's sad and he's always by tommy's side i kind of wish we got more of what really happened hey guys thanks again so much for watching i really appreciate it um remember you can follow uh my podcast blah blah podcast on um, apple podcast itunes and podbean you can also subscribe to this youtube page for more uh, blah blah podcast content if you want to know more about me you can su subscribe to my twitter j JG Screen 89 and check out blah blah podcasts on Twitter at blah blah pod one for all your podcast needs. Thanks again so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it, like always, and have a great day.